Hi, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to automatically generate content for your blog that has a very high chance to trend. I'll show you two methods that many people don't know about. And in the end, I will give you some pointers and tips. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and let's get started. All right, so the very first method to find trending content is YouTube. And what I like to do, and most people don't really realize, is that all of these trending videos are essentially articles. If you look at their transcripts, right, it's basically an article. It's just unpolished. Okay, so uh, the best way that I like to do it is I like to go into YouTube and I will go into filters. So let me go here. Now let me type in a keyword. So whatever keyword I like, let's say I'm looking for, I don't know, uh, weight loss. Um, with fasting how about fasting right Fast, fasting for weight loss okay go ahead and click on that and then what I like to look for right right off the bat is fill I like to filter for closed captioning and subtitles this gives me um, a more this ensures that whatever transcript that I get from these videos is going to be more organized and easily easy to convert into an article all right so uh, that's the very first important step and then now I go ahead and look for the trending videos okay so let's see this is trending okay this is trending I, I think I'll go ahead with this one all right so I'm gonna click on this one Let me pause it right here and what you see here is you see C transcript. So what I did was I installed, real quick, I start, installed a uh, Chrome extension called YouTube Scribe, right? And then from there you're gonna see this this uh, button right here. All you do is you click on this, and you will be taken. T it, it will take you to the YouTube Scribe, and it'll have the transcription for you, All right? Both for you to download in a text file. It'll give you a grade for readability and the word count. All right. Oh, this is in Japanese. <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and X out of this one. That's not going to work for us. Let's go with uh, this one here. Okay, let me see the transcripts. All right, and right off the bat, it has grade readability, word count, and views. You can download it here, but I prefer to go to punctuated transcript. All right? Oh, it doesn't have it. All right, but if they they don't have it, then I just go ahead and copy this this video transcript up to here. Oops. Let me copy this. All right. So it's the reason why I find trending content. Let me go ahead and stop this real quick. Is because the logic is if it's doing well on the second largest search engine in the world, which is YouTube, then it should be doing okay for uh, Google. Okay. So let me go ahead. I took I got the transcript here, and the other way you can go ahead and get the transcript, of course, is just a normal way through Google Transcript. You you go ahead and and uh, you click on these three dots right here, and then open transcript. Then you go ahead and, and copy it. If you don't want the timestamps in the way, you just go toggle, and you can go ahead and copy it this way. But I find it to be more steps, right? So that's why I prefer you go ahead and use YouTube Scribe. I have another video, a separate video on that, on how to install and use it. If you're interested in that. But okay, so let's move on. Once you get the you copy the transcripts from the trending video, now what you have to do is you have to convert it into an article. And you can use that with an AI tool. My AI tool of choice is Writer. So I go ahead and, and click on this. 
And let's see, block section writing. I, I think I go with block section writing. Uh, maybe block idea and outline. Hmm. Let me just go into one of these old ones. No. Okay, let me go into this one. Just delete this. No. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paste. I'm going to type in um, the title of what I'm, I'm talking about. All right, so this is um, fasting. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and type it in here. Click on write for me. So it generates an outline. Okay, while it's doing that, let me copy this again. Copy the transcripts. Okay. And then from here, right, let me go ahead and no, delete this. Okay, from here you can do one of two things. Uh, you could either use the outline here, or preferably I like to just paste everything, do a data dump. Right, so this is all the transcript that you got, and just scroll down and one by one. Uh, let me see. One by one, rewrite everything. So. From here to here. All right, copy that, paste it in here. Okay, and then I can click on rephrase. And then rephrase. Okay. So let's go ahead and read it. As a fitness guru, firm believer in the benefits of for, uh, intermittent fasting, I've seen your request and read your comments and am more than happy to talk to you about it. Here are some things you should know before we get into it. The pros, cons, and whether or not you should do it. Human fasting is not a new concept. In fact, it's been happening for thousands of years. Intermittent fasting is just a recent trend. All right, so then again, let's go ahead and continue. All right, so you would go back to this transcript here, copy this section here, paste it underneath here, and continue on with the rewriting. So. All right, up to here. All right. Oops. Made a mistake. Let me go back. Rephrase that. And then go back here. Rephrase this. Okay. And up here, here. So let's go ahead and read the second part. If you're looking for a way to improve your mental clarity and overall energy levels overnight, look no further than intermittent fasting while you sleep. Plenty of people do it without even being aware. They'll have a stressful day at work and then go home skipping dinner. But when you fast every night, your body enters a state called ketosis, which has long been associated with 
I'm going to have to add something here. <laughs> I cut it off. Believe it or not, I still have time for breakfast. Intermittent fasting is a proven and safe I'm gonna change this method that our bo bodies can handle the uh, handle the change. You might be thinking about the negative side effects, but it doesn't usually come with any consequences. All right, so not too bad. Just a few errors here and there, and you just keep on going and repeating the same process over and over again. Okay, and just to show you real quick, let me uh, copy this. I'm gonna go ahead and, and check this with a third party <clears throat> third party AI checker All right, this is a Grammarly premium and it checks the overall grammar and uh, writing and plagiarism of, of the written piece so overall it scored at 87 which is not too bad and of course it has a few errors here that I mentioned uh, clarity is very clear according to Grammarly AI engagement is very engaging and delivery is slightly off. Now, as for plagiarism, it comes in at only 5%. So 95% of your written content is not only like trending in YouTube, but it's also unique. All right, so that's the first method. It's basically, let me review real quick, go into YouTube, go to filters, Go, uh, filter for closed captioning subtitles uh, and then go ahead and enter your keyword find the ranking video that you like uh, once you go ahead and you, f you found that get the transcripts whether it's from using the extension or whether it's just using it directly from Google itself okay and then from there you go into writer and you rewrite it using the AI writer so you have a trending piece of content from a video that's unique and it's, it has its own spin now lastly you would I would recommend the final step is you check it with a third AI which is Grammarly AI and you go ahead and check it for error and plagiarism and so on and so forth and you go ahead and fix it because you know in the end of the day writer is just an AI tool but you still need to you know kinda of polish it up a bit right but that's that's how you should be able to create trending content with this first method. Now the second method I'm about to mention is a lot easier and that requires you to simply go into Google uh, type in the same keyword so let's keep it consistent fasting for weight loss copy this and I can go ahead and enter it into Google fasting for weight loss and then you can go ahead and you see what trend what is trending in Google, right? This is this is the thing. These are articles that have you know passed the uh, you know passed through the Google algorithm algorithm and have come up ahead. And this is something you want to emulate and copy, so you can also get a part of this traffic. But you don't want to copy word for word, otherwise you get penalized. So this is a trending article, right? As you can see, it's doing quite well. Let me accept this and. You know, pretty much all you have to do is copy the. Uh, what I would do is I would copy only the headings. Okay, so let me copy the title. Go back to here, delete everything here. And what what you do now is you you go back to Writer and you just copy the title, the main title. Right? So this is your H1 title, and then you would go down to your sub subtitles right your subheadings sorry keep keep going down now you can do a combination of what writer gives you and this but I prefer just sticking mainly to this and maybe changing it up slightly right so it's not an exact copy and you, you just do that and so on and so forth. I'm not going to go all the way down and bore you. Okay, so once you have that, all you simply need to do is flesh it out. So you'd highlight it, click on paragraph, let writer do its thing, and fill it in for you. If you happen to have a keyword that you'd like to add, you can go ahead and do that as well. All right. So, for example, if you want a, key, a keyword, you would just type in a key, come on, a keyword. 
intermittent fasting plan. And then you would highlight this and click on paragraph, and now it would write. Right, it would write the paragraph with that keyword in it. All right, so let me go ahead and delete this. Oops, let me go back. Okay, and if you you want to extend it, you just go ahead and highlight it and click on paragraph, and it will continue to you know create more content. Let me do that. Okay. Oops. And it, it, let's say you, you uh, highlight it and it doesn't have enough content in order to click paragraph. You just go ahead and add a few more words, expand it a little bit. So the sixteen eight method explained. All right. Mm, explained. Oops. In detail. Or step by step. Let's see. Is that, is that yeah, that's enough. All right. And then you click on paragraph. And it will exp expand it for you again. Easy peasy. Okay. <clears throat> and there you have it. So you basically took the skeleton of a trending content, but the, you expanded it with AI. And now you have your own product. Let me go ahead and copy this and grade it with Grammarly to see how well it did. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me paste it in. Grammarly is doing its grade. 76 overall score. Okay. And let's check for plagiarism. 16%. So it's still high enough. Right? It's still high enough. And if you want to go ahead and fix it, you can go ahead and fix it within Grammarly and it will point out some of the uh, <clears throat> it'll point out some of the errors to make it more clear. All right, so that, that, that's the reason why I use Grammarly as the third step in a lot of these um, article posting vis po uh, article posts is because it helps. It really helps out with trending and readability. All right, so those are the two methods that I like to use. It really helps me to create trending content with AI because AI is a tool, and if you just use it as it is and just have it generate content, it's okay. Um, I find that it ranks lower if I, if I use like these, and I just show you what, I, what I've done in the past. All right? So in the past, I've, I've created a lot of these, you know, played around with a lot of different content here. And let me show you, uh, well, show that later. But I find that the if you just create content purely using an AI writer, it doesn't trend as well as something that I wrote by hand. Okay, and and that's no surprise to me. But it does okay. It, it does it does do better than a PLR article that's rewritten. It does do better than a rewrite article rewriters, those old school ones, those article spinners. It does much better than those. So as a tool, it does okay. It it, it I use use these. Um, pure, I guess, unadulterated, unchanged AI written content as a way to kind of just publish something in order to make sure that Google knows that I'm, I'm still active, right? It's it, So basically I do that like once a week. But if I want trendable content, I find I have to do those extra steps. I have to go ahead and, and see what is trending and what articles are trending, then go ahead and rewrite it using the AI writer, then go ahead and use the grammar checker to polish it up. If I do those three steps, it sounds like a lot, but it's a lot easier to me than to go ahead and, and write it from scratch, right? write it from zero. So that that's that's what's worked for me. It may or may not work for you. If it works for you, great, go ahead and use it. If it doesn't, that's fine. You, this is not a, you have to do it this way. It's just, I'm sharing what works for me, and I, I hope it will help you. In your journey. I'm uh, Vince from Digital Man Institute. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and by the way, I just want to mention that I have an AI small YouTube channel mastery course. For those of you interested, you can go ahead and check that out in the description below. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.